Hi, I'm Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to video 2 using the LSP Maternity Actions in Photoshop. This video is faster, more of a recipe guide for you if you're already familiar with using the LSP Actions. If you haven't already, please do watch video 1 which is where I walk you through these actions in depth in a step-by-step -step more detailed tutorial. Okay, let's get started with this image. This is by the one and only Anna Brandt and it's just simply gorgeous. I'm going to switch the action palette over to button mode. Again, please do watch video one if you're unsure of any of the steps I take in this video. I'm going to start with the uh, the one click section here. I've just played balance the image. Um, I'm going to take the opacity down a little bit and change it to suit the feel of the photo. Um, about there, snapshot and flatten. Okay, I just need to tidy this background up a little bit. So I'm going to use the patch tool for this where I'm simply just selecting areas and dragging out the way. You can do this however you like if you need to. Um, I'd recommend at this point perhaps tidying any areas, removing distractions from your image once you've got the balance right. Okay, so let's zoom in and even out this belly for the client. Um, this is a very typical tummy for later on in the third trimester here. I'm going to play bright warm belly paint. Um, I'm just, playing, I'm just going to brush it over and even the tone to calm the purple tones down a little bit and balance it to the upper body a little bit more, as you can see there. Now let's calm these stretch marks down a little bit so that the eye isn't immediately drawn there uh, with the stretch, the stretch mark paint here. Um, I'm just going to take this off the navel area and again, this warms some of those purple tones up using this here. Okay, so let's go for the uh, the colour tones multi-layer next. I'm going to calm these yellow areas a little bit on the upper body, um, just here, and then perhaps warm up a little bit too. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm happy with the colours, I'm going to add the portrait skin brush to give this a fine art kind of smooth touch to the skin. Be careful to avoid the details, so I'd recommend zooming in. Um, and just making sure you kind of don't don't paint over any of the details or the edges of your image. Okay, let's just use it on that little mark there as well that's kind of left behind. Just to smooth out, but not completely removed, just to smooth. Okay, now I'm going to play the perfect skin base. Um, this is just to clean up any last kind of areas. Here again, these marks on the belly a little bit. Um, there's a little bit of a blemish there. Snapshot and flatten. Okay, so once you're happy, you can finish the image off um, in the specialist section. Um, I'm just going to paint this vignette off the face a little bit, and I might add a little bit of rocking contrast as well here. Again, you can play the opacity, um, paint on or off, until you're happy. Okay, great, snapshot and flatten. So let's take a look at the before and after once you're happy. If you're using the snapshot and flatten action, this is really easy. You can come up to the top of your history and go through the snapshots. This is great also if you need to step backwards in your editing at any point because only a certain amount of history states are saved. So that's our after where we are now and before. After. Thanks for watching!